be the worst. In this week's Top Trender, Senator Bernie Sanders, Bernie Unchained. Let's get to work in saving Social Security. Senator Bernie Sanders is taking on the president and standing up for everyday Americans. Sanders tweeted, I will do everything in my power to block Barack Obama's proposal to cut benefits for Social Security recipients through a chain CPI. And the senator from Vermont is not alone in his opposition to the president's plan. The homeless, the helpless, and the hapless in our society. They're the last that ought to be taken and in the neck for deficit reduction. This is not about just a simple opposition. This is about a concrete value that all of us can use. Chain CPI was originally a Vayner McConnell demand. It was a bad idea then, and it's a really bad idea now. Joining me now is independent Senator Bernie Sanders of Vermont. Senator, honored to have you on the program first as we relaunch the Ed Show here on weekends at 5 o'clock on Saturday and Sunday. Appreciate your work, what you stand for and what you do. I think we think a lot on a lot of things. But the issue now is the president's budget. He does have chained CPI in there. He does have $400 billion worth of cuts in Medicare. And it's pretty ominous, in my opinion. Do you think the president, if he continues to get push from folks such as yourself and some others in Congress that he would back down from that budget? Well, don't tell anybody, Ed, but I think we're going to beat the president on this. I think we're in the process not only of rallying uh, people in the uh, United States Congress, but all over this country who understand several facts. Number one, when the middle class is disappearing and the gap between the rich and everybody else is growing wider, you don't assault the middle class by cutting Social Security and benefits for disabled veterans. And the second point that the American people understand is that Social Security has not added one nickel to the deficit, has nothing to do with deficit reduction. In fact, Social Security today has a $2.6 trillion surplus, is paid for independently by the payroll tax, and what we should be doing is in fact lifting the cap on taxable income for Social Security so that it's strong for the next 75 where would you put the years, cap? not cutting it. Senator, where would well, you put the you cap? What you do is you lift the, the cap is now on $113,000. Yeah. Somebody who makes a million contributes the same as, a, as somebody making 113. If you lift the cap, and you don't even have to start at 113, start at $250,000, just do that. Social Security will be strong for the next 50 years, paying out 100 percent of benefits. And, Ed, by the way, do you know whose idea that was during the 2008 campaign? Yeah. A guy named Barack Obama. We want to remind him of that. Well, why has he done this reversal, in your opinion? Or is he just trying to get a deal with the Republicans? Because, Senator, I've been around the country the last couple of months. I've been in front of a half a dozen crowds. And I can tell you, there's no appetite for this. In fact, there is a rousing support against this budget to even get it into the conversation and onto the table. So what's the message? Well, Ed, well, Ed, clearly this is really bad public policy because you're going after people who are already hurting. But I think, as you've indicated, it is terrible politics as well. I held a press conference uh, with Senator Sheldon Whitehouse a couple of months ago. This is who we had there, the AARP and every senior group in America, the AFL-CIO, the National Organization for Women, every veterans organization, American Legion, DAV, VFW, disability groups, the American people are saying loud and clear, do not balance the budget on the backs of the elderly, the children, the sick, and the poor. Now, why is he doing this? I think the president continues for some very, very strange idea to keep believing that if he makes major concessions to the Republicans, that somehow he's going to get something back in return. I really don't know why he continues to think that. It hasn't worked up to now. I don't believe that it's going to work in the future. What he has got to do, loudly and clearly, is tell the American working families he is standing with them. He's going to take on the Republicans. He's going to take on the big money interests. And by the way, Ed, on all of these issues, we have the vast majority of the American people on our side. That's we can the win thing. these fights. We can put these guys on the defensive. Well, uh, uh, that is a key point. Because after winning the election, you're supposed to own the conversation in the direction of the country. Now, we've had some horrific things happen since. 
There's no doubt about it that the uh, gun conversation has kind of thrown the country off track. There's no doubt that uh, illegal immigration, to me anyway, it looks like they're going down the road to 2007. We'll touch on that later. But the key is jobs. It's jobs and health care and it's middle class families because that's what the president ran on. And now he puts out a budget that goes right after the very people that put him in office. I don't get it. Well, here's the point, Ed, and I think you put your finger on the problem. Look, the president has done a strong and good job in dealing with issues like gay rights. Yeah. He has done a good job on dealing with gun control. Uh, he is doing a good job in a number of other social issues. But on economic issues, which at the end of the day impacts tens of millions of families, it is whether people can live in dignity and security or whether they're going to have to live with despair and severe tension every single day about yeah. putting food on the table, about whether their mothers and dads can afford prescription drugs or whether their kids can go to college. On those issues, we have to be honest and say the president has not been strong. And Social Security is just one of those areas. And we have got to tell them to stand with the people who elected him, that is the working families of this country who are seeing a decline in their standard of living, with the young people in this country where unemployment rates are off the charts, with the veterans community yeah. who have their share of problems, and I speak as chairman of the Veterans Committee, stand with working families. That's the right thing to do, and it's good politics. Help us take on the big money interest so that this country doesn't end up to be an oligarchic form of society where a handful of families like the Koch brothers yeah. own the economics and the politics and there, of this nation. And there is a moral component to all of this as well. Senator Bernie Sanders, great to have you with us on the First Ed Show as we return to MSNBC. Thanks so much. I appreciate it. Thank you, Ed.